Xerxes demanded our obedience, our submission. But we were free men, and we would rather die on our feet than live on our knees. Confident, savoring the meal to come, the beast approached, and it was King Leonidas himself who provoked it. Uninvited guests. Persian lapdogs bringing word to Sparta from the great and powerful Xerxes. All the God King required was a modest offering of earth and water, symbolizing Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. They warned us to be afraid, that Sparta would burn to the ground, and that only the word of Leonidas could save it. Leonidas did not leave our guests waiting long for a response. Earth and water. The Persians would find plenty down there. So it began. The ephors, priests to the old gods, diseased old mystics, worthless remnants of a time before Sparta's ascent from darkness and superstition. Their word is law. It was the time of Carnea, the sacred and ancient festival. Sparta could wage no war. They must consult the Oracle. The Oracle spoke in an ancient tongue known only to the Ephors. Leonidas was to honor the Carnea. There would be no march. Sparta would fall. Pompous inbred swine, worthless, diseased, rotten. Xerxes promised fresh oracles to them daily, from every corner of his empire. The price was only a simple lie, a small bending of the oracle's ancient words. But our king was resolved. There would be no march. No army would take the field against Xerxes. Only Leonidas would walk north to the hot gates, along with his personal bodyguard. Of 300. Xerxes has come to the hot gates. Xerxes, the god king of Persia, the devourer of nations. We few stand against him. Against a horde of beasts and men so massive it shakes the earth with its march. King Leonidas wavers not. Spartans, attack! horse let your master see how deeply the blade swung by freeborn men cleave what's the blank keep it up spartans Persian slaves you die with valor may you know freedom in the afterlife
Xerxes has come to... Spartans, attack! No! 